Did I just bought myself some fake ass Creed? Because I recently picked up two new bottles of Creed, Royal Water and Royal Oud. And it, at least Royal Water was for a great deal. I found 100 milliliters for only $140. So me, old jolly and proud of my purchase, I went to Facebook group and I posted that. Look what I bought for this amazing deal. And immediately the questions dropped in. Where did you buy it? I bought it from a place called makeup.se, a big company together with makeup.uk and some other countries across Europe. And then the next one came in and said, if it is a too good deal to be true, it probably is a fake you got in your hands. And another one dropped in and said, well, I looked up the company online and all over the place it says that they sell fakes. They fucking killed my joy. So what to do? I turn to YouTube to see how to spot your fake Creed bottle. So that is what we're gonna do today, so let's go into it. Hi, my name is Tim and all welcome to another edition of Smelly Sweet. So I did turn to YouTube to watch all these videos and I saw some lame ass videos where they compared a co copy of fake with the original and those copies, most of those copies were just so badly done that you could spot it with your eye. But I found one video that I took some screenshots from and I'm gonna post that video in a link down below because that was really a scary video. It just showed how damn good these manufacturers are of making fake bottles. They are so close that you and almost need to be able to compare them side by side to spot the differences. So today we're gonna start off by looking at my royal water and what made me convinced that that wasn't a fake and then I got worried again when my royal oud dropped in because man we're gonna look at that as well but first we're gonna talk about that royal water and then we're gonna look at royal oud and what first worried me but what later on made me at ease. I wouldn't have done this video if I didn't have some new information that I found that I only so far has seen on one other channel and that is the batch codes and also some other stuff that I'm gonna break down from previous videos done on the subject and more up to date because some of these fake videos spot your fake is done years ago and a lot of things changes throughout years from Creed itself as well. So to be able to do this we're gonna point my camera at my little collection of Creed bottles. So here you have my little collection of Creed bottles. Aventus, Royal Oud and Royal Ward. With my Aventus I never have had any doubt that that would be a fake because I bought it from a trusted reseller gents.com so it's kind of what I am comparing my other Creed bottles to. Unfortunately I can't recommend anybody to buy this today because it just is a shadow of its former self and it doesn't perform on my skin at least this batch and that is the next thing the batch inconsistencies with Creed's Aventus most of all and just simply bad alternatives so I can't recommend it but if you are a true collector if you're a diehard fan of fragrances or the brand then I think that Creed Aventus should be in every man's collection. But enough talk about Aventus let's focus on my royal water and the first thing that you get to see when you get a Creed is the box obviously so this box looks cool and if you look really close you can see you can see that it isn't a smooth box and the first thing to know about Creed is that whenever you get a new bottle of Creed that comes without cellophane that is the first thing to know but that is as I said very very easily copied by those manufacturers of fake bottles. And the next thing to know is that on the bottom you always find a sticker from Creed. Yet again very very easily copied by those fake manufacturers but it gives you an idea that you can watch the lot number and then later on watch if the, that batch number is the same as it is on your bottle but yet again very easily copied. 
and here you really can see that the box isn't smooth that there is some kind of pattern in it and that is one thing that i've seen most of the times with all those fake videos i've seen that the boxes that comes in those fake bottled boxes are a little bit more smooth it's not so that you can see it with your eyes sometimes you can almost need to feel the box to feel that inconsistency in the smoothness on those fake bottles so that is one thing that you always can look at next thing to look at is the details of the crown i don't know if i can post those pictures here those uh, from the video i'm talking about where you can compare it but you can really there there is something where you can see the differences in all those details so that is what you can see on the box and maybe think about when you get a new fragrance and if you are doubting that your creed is fake or not next thing to look at is the cap you know those details here on the top of the, the cap is something i've seen even on very very well made fakes that they fail with all those important details and by now you all know that when you remove the sprayer it should be white inside completely white nothing else that is what creed does but we can also take a little look on the top here because in one one video i saw it had the, the original had creed engraved here the fake didn't have that in the next video I saw, the fake had Creed engraved there, but the original didn't. So that is something that Creed has changed back and forth through the years, I guess. And the next yeah. thing to look at is the sprayer itself, where, it, where the juice comes out from. It should look like my bottle does. I'm gonna post a picture again so you can see the difference between a fake and the real deal. And when you look on the inside of the cap, this is how an original should look. Yet again, I'm going to show you the copycat and the picture right next to the original. But one thing that I've always seen those copycat failure with, that is the bottom of itself of the bottle. It should be this smooth, no edges, no nothing, just smooth. You can compare it to my Creed and you see the same thing just smooth no edges no ribbons no pattern just a smooth bottom and that is something that i've always seen those fake ass bottles fail with and on one video that i looked at they pointed out that strip you can see here from the sprayer that it should be a j-shaped form and go down all the way to the corner that is how creed does it to be able to squeeze out every single drop of juice of your bottle so with all that day done and looked at, I was pretty convinced that my Creed Royal Water was the real deal. And then I went ahead and bought Royal Oud and I got confused <laughs> at least. I was worried again that my Royal Oud was a fake bottle. However, I did buy that one from a trusted reseller. I bought it from a small shop in Malmö, a little boutique called Engels Hat. If you translate it, it becomes English Gentleman. And they are under the umbrella of a bigger company, and that is Balza.com. I, I don't leave links in my description, so Balza.com. Maybe I'll post the name here on the screen so you can see it. <laughs> but trusted reseller, yet I was doubting, and we're going to look at why I was doubting. Here, my royal oud that got me doubting, and the reason is pretty simple, because... I recently looked up the batch code of my royal water just to be sure and look out so i thought why not take a look at the batch code of my royal oud i'm not sure if you can see that there has been a sticker placed over this sticker from the boutique they have placed a sticker over it telling it which bottle it was creed royal oud and the price of that so i couldn't find the batch code on my box and that got me worried so I took a look at my bottle and if you can see here lot F000248 and I thought what the fuck of a weird batch code is that. So I turned back to my box and I saw that the sticker was there. So I was able to remove the sticker from the shop and you can see the same lot number here F000248. I couldn't find any information at all about that lot number, batch number. I searched YouTube, I searched 
everywhere but I couldn't find it so in the end I turned to Facebook and that is what we're gonna talk about right next but before we do that I turned my bottle around and you can see it isn't the J shape it is more like an S and no I was so fucking convinced that my bottle from Creed Royal Oud was fake but everything else checked out all the details in here so very well done same thing at the back of that the details all very well done the pattern in the box you can see is there on place so I really thought if this is a fake it's so fucking well done because the next step looking at the cap gonna turn it around for you you can see it's a very detailed rich well done take away the black cap look at the top here yet again looks just like it should do everything in there is white you can see this gold behind that and in front of that gold there's a white as well the outer ring very important so everything else to me was like it was the real deal and uh, I'm gonna spray myself so but you can see that oh gay rate smell did smell on place as well so everything else with this told me that it was the real deal except the badge code and that little stripe so as i said i turned to facebook and you might ask yourself what the fuck can facebook help you with well on facebook you find groups and i found a group with die hard creed fans and they were very very helpful told me that the new badge codes but starting with an F000 and followed by three numbers is the new thing from Creed because they are fucking tired of us playing the game with selling badge codes and people paying overpriced and stuff. I don't know if that's true, but that is what they said. And my opinion, well, Creed, you have your own fucking self to blame because of your fucking inconsistency with badges. But I bought it and they showed me a couple of other bottles bought from Creed that had that badge code. So that is kind of new information that I hadn't found anywhere else except maybe from one video I saw yesterday from Chaos Fragrances or whatever he's called. He mentioned the new badge codes in that video. So there are new badge codes running around or if it, is, if it really is badge codes, it's just a fucking number. So I don't know by that. And they also told me that this that I told you about that being a more S shape that isn't true that has been coming found at Creed Ballers all the years and it is the amazing quality control you have with Creed that looks past those things once in a while because if you really look close if you would straighten that out it would go, go all the way down to the corner so what did we learn what did i learn today well i learned that those manufacturers of copies fake ballers they are extremely good and sometimes it's so well done that you actually need to compare the fake with the real side by side to spot the differences it's kind of like mona lisa the painting people have been copying that all the years some extremely well done but it isn't for until you come up really really close that you can spot the differences i mean they even try to replicate the scent the scent the opening so throw you off that suspicion as well Obviously they use sheep material so you don't know what it is that you spray on your body with those chemicals that they use in those countries where they are manufactured. So that is one thing to take in consideration. So let's sum this up. The box always comes without cellophane. Always has a sticker underneath with the batch code information and stuff like that. And both those things are very, very easily copied by the manufacturers of fake next thing to look at is the box itself the carbon that comes with it you can see with your eyes that it isn't just a smooth surface 
that is something that I found that I seen on all those well, extremely well done copies that they are failing with recreating. And on the box as well, the details of the crown is very important. That is something that I seen many of those well done copycats failing at recreating as well. And then we had the bottle itself. All the details of the cap is very important because that is imprinted in some kind of metallic. So that is very hard to recreate and do it with that specific precision that you find in Creed's bottles. And also that small detail of looking at the sprayer itself. It should look like this. And then obviously the white things inside should look like this. I've seen so many extremely well done fakes being silver, being aluminium, being black. So that is something they often fail by doing it. And I can't get why, because that should be pretty easy to fix in my opinion. And then obviously we have the new badge codes, which is something that really threw me off and started me to suspect this fragrance being a copy, being a fake. But that is the new thing by Creed using those F three letters, three zeros and three letters. That is just a new thing. And last but not least, we have the bottom. That that is smooth all around, no edges, no sharpness, no nothing. That would something I've seen on all those fake ballers failure at as well. So I feel pretty convinced that my Creed ballers Royal Oud and Royal Water is the real deal. But you can never be 100% safe. Yes, you can. And if you want to be 100% safe, only buy from trusted resellers. Never buy from the gray market and stuff like that. <laughs> never buy from Wish, <laughs> but that you already knew. But that is the main thing. Buy from a trusted reseller. That is the only way to go. And I, when I buy from a trusted reseller, I always turn to gents.com. And no, I'm not fucking sponsored by gents.com. It's just that that is the best niche store here in Sweden. And I get always get that excellent service there. The reason I didn't bought these two bottles from gents.com is because they were out of stock. So I had to search elsewhere. That was all for today, my friends. I hope you learned something today. I did watching all these videos. I learned a bunch of new stuff, but for me, it's time to say goodbye today. I have for you to stay this long. Thank you very much. For you guys who hate my guts, think I'm a waste of space stealing your fucking precious air, you know what to do. Piss off. The rest, I see you again.